Alright, alright, alright. Ni countdown na Mr. Countdown na nikuwa na mrembo Julita Kabete. Mambo vipi? Poa, what's up Tanzania? Ehe, ehe, ehe. Julita Kabete. Yes. Mrembo tena mrembo kweli kweli. Sante. Ongela sana kwa ilo. Sante. Karibu sana kwenye on air with Mila Dayo. Najua moja, ka, of course, sababu kubwa ili ukuleta hapa ni shindano la Miss Africa. Deal. Miss Africa. Mindo kwa mara ya kwanza nasikia ili shindano la Miss Africa. Deal. Okay. Na uhakika sija kosea kwa sababu ndo limeanza mwaka usio. Kweli. Na ni shindano gani? Na usunini? Um, shindano la Miss Africa ni kama shindano la Miss World, Miss Universe. Ni kama shindano lote ambao ushai kulisikia. Mm-hmm. Kaso ni kwamba tuna focus na African Queens. Um, kwa hiyo limeanzishwa mwaka huu na governor wa Cross River State kutoka Nigeria mm-hmm. na niko under Milen Magese Group Co Limited yeye yeah, ameteuliwa na wandaji wa Miss Africa kuchagua mrembo kutoka nchini Tanzania nikabahatika nikachaguliwa uh-huh. ila nilipitia Miss Tanzania um, nikaingia Tano Bora kwa yeye ameshikiana na Miss Tanzania kamati ya Miss Tanzania ndio nikateuliwa mimi kwa sababu yeye ana vigezo vyake lakini okay yeah tano bora ya Miss Tanzania ulipata kutokea upande gani um yani vitongoji nilivyopitia ah no yani uh, ulitokea sehemu gani um miss ni, mimi nilishinda Miss Da nikashinda Miss Lala Miss Tanzania ni ilikuwa experience yani kwamba I don't know if you watched the video yet ya Miss Tanzania. Uh-huh. Yeah, nilikuwa yeah, mshindi wa tano. Yeah, finally. Yeah, finally. Uh-huh. Yeah, nilikuwa mshindi wa tano kwa sababu there's something that happened to me. Kwenye yani I just was not feeling well kwa nikaishia katikati. I don't know if you watched the video yet. Lakini mashindano yote kutokea Miss Lala, Miss Da nimeshinda kwa sababu I believe in myself na mm. I'm confident. Yeah. Okay. Um uli, ulishinda Miss Da unasema eh? Yes, Miss Da and Miss Lala. Ili ilikuwa uliumwa ghafla siku ya finali? Um nilijisikia vibaya, nilijisikia kama kuzimia ndio maana nikaondoka stage Ila watu wengi wana sasa hivi wanauliza kwenye media why her why this sijateuliwa na Miss Tanzania kwenda kushiriki Miss Africa nimeuteuliwa na Milen Magese group. Kwa hiyo hiyo ndio watu wanachanganya. Ila Milen Magese group company wameshikiana na Miss Tanzania kutokana na vigezo vyake ndio wamenichagua mimi. Yeye nikashiriki Miss Africa. Na Miss Africa ina inahusu sana sana mazingira. Na kama uliangalia Miss Tanzania kuanzia kambi imeanza ilikuwa kuhusu urembo na mazingira. Kwa hiyo nenda sasa kutangaza nchi na ku, kuwa balozi wa climate change for Tanzania. Kwa mfano um, wa vitu ambavyo nitaongelea ni kuhusu mlima Kilimanjaro ambao una lose um, barafu cool. yeah. ni, ni vigezo gani ambavyo wamevitumia au unatakiwa kuona navyo ndio ukashiriki Miss Africa Obviously unatakiwa kuwe mrembo um unatakiwa uwe na ile ya asili ya African unajua uh-huh. yeah <laughs> naonaona kabisa <laughs> Um, naturally yes uh-huh. unatakiwa uwe confident na asasa uwe na knowledge ya mambo ya mazingira kwa sababu huwezi kwenda kule haujui chochote unajua mm. sababu watu wengi ndio wanaweza kuwa kama unajua urembo kweli kweli na unafutilia umamisi na ukiingia to five watu wengi wanakaribia yale majibu kwa watafuti mtu ambaye anaenda kukaribia sababu mtu ataishinda Miss Africa atakuwa balozi wa Africa nzima ya climate change pia atapewa kuna zawadi za fedha lakini utapewa maso, ma nanili utapewa kama scholarship ya kwenda nje Uingereza kusoma na pia kuwa kuongelea kuhusu climate change. Kwa lazima uwe confident na unajua nini unachoenda kuongelea na mimi na vigezo hivyo vyote. Okay. okay. Yes. Wana wanakupa shilingi ngapi kushinda? Dola 1025. Zaidi ya milioni 50. Yes, 55 hivi. Yeah, okay. Na pia sasa hivi wameongeza um, zawadi ya gari ambalo governor amesema kwamba mshinde te shinda itasafirishwa mpaka nchini kwake. Oh, okay. Yes. Sao, hivi sasa una miaka 10 na ngapi? 19. Ah, kumbe nimepatia. Yaani kwa sema 19 tu. Ni 19. 19. Yes. Okay, na um, umesoma mpaka wapi hapa Tanzania? Um, nimesoma A level, sijasoma Tanzania, nimesoma Afrika Kusini, nimemaliza mwaka jana. Mm-hmm. Kwao nikachukua the whole year off ku kuisoma nchi yangu vizuri. I mean I know my country, lakini nataka ku ku develop something in Tanzania nataka kujenga kitu kutoka mm. Tanzania 
ndio nikaingia Miss Tanzania. Ah yani unasema umesoma uh, Afrika Kusini toka mdogo? No, sio toka mdogo nimesoma primary school in Tanzania, secondary nimesoma Afrika Kusini. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Kuna kitu gani ambacho ni cha kwanza ulivurudi tu Tanzania uliona kama ah Tanzania na Miss I wish kingekuepo Tanzania. Kuna vitu vingi. Mm-hmm. I mean ya sasa kwenye utalii ukiangalia mm-hmm. mimi sasa naona ni mimi ni nasafiri sana mm-hmm. kwa kila sana nikirudi Tanzania na waza ni nataka nini kasafiri niende region flani nataka nione hiki kwa mfano Zanzibar nataka kuona Kilimanjaro yani there is a lot of things ambavyo najivunia na nikioga nje ila nikirudi hapa na, na miss obviously food chips my hivyo vyote na miss vitu kama hivyo so okay. those are the things kwa nilikuwa na miss sana kutoka Tanzania ila kuishi yani Tanzania mwaka mzima na kujifunza mambo mengi kutokea hizi kamu za Miss Tanzania na kufanya mambo ya jamii and it makes me wanna stay here more kuliko yani kusafiri sana ila nimefurahi kwamba nimepata this opportunity kwenda Nigeria kuitangaza nchi yangu nitawakilisha vizuri sana Okay uh, shindano linafanyika mji gani Nigeria Um Kalaba Crossiva State inajulikana sana sana kwa mambo ya utalii kifatilia kwenye uh, mitandaoni inajulikana okay. sana kwenye mambo ya utalii huo mji huo mji ya okay sawa mm-hmm. sawa hiyo hiyo ni nzuri na ni nchi ngapi za Afrika zinashiriki 30 30 yeah kwa sasa 30 kwa sababu ndo wameanza mm-hmm. na i believe as it goes on kutakuwa na nchi nyingi ambazo zitashiriki ila Tanzania i think it's one of the luckiest country kuingia Mm. ni itakuwa shindano kubwa sana in kusa hivi haijakuwa advertised sana lakini baadaye na hisi itakuwa kama miss world yani it's more than miss world yani inaenda kutangaza african queen more than the person who is going to miss world yani ukiangalia the platform na ile inavyokujengea yani unakutana na watu wengi sana wa ambao ni inspirational hapa Africa okay yeah na kwa Afrika Mashariki Tanzania I mean nchi ngapi za shiriki ukiacha Tanzania? Um, kwa sasa actually shina tisa sababu mimi mmoja ametolewa. Oh, kwa, um, kwa Afrika Mashariki Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi. Burundi sijaisikia. Okay. Nimeisikia Uganda. Kenya pia sijaisikia. Oh. Lakini naisi ni Tanzania Uganda kutoka huko Mashariki ya. Yeah. Okay. Na wa Tanzania wana ushiriki ni mmoja au mmoja? Ni mmoja. <laughs> yani kama kwenda Miss World it's just inakuwa Miss Africa. Tia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, sawa sawa. Kuna vitu gani ambavyo pia umekuwa ukiviplana ama ukivitamania kwenye nchi yako? I mean, uh, uh, kuvipigania au kuwa, kutaka tu kupaza sauti vionekane. Mm-hmm. Chakoza ni kama haya ma, mambo ya mazingira kwa sababu kila kwa Tanzania wengi hawako educated na climate change. Um, I mean mabadiliko ya tabia nchi hawajui madhara yake na sisi tuna experience lakini watu wengi hawajui kwamba you actually experiencing it. Kwa hiyo ndio nataka sana kuenda yani sehemu mbalimbali kufundisha kwanza watu ndio tuanze kuleta yani foundations na initiatives hivyo. Na cha pili kinachonigusa sana ni nilienda shule ya uhuru mchanganyiko. Mm-hmm. Um, nikaona watoto Yaani unajua kwa nje ya nchi nje za nchi kwenye upande wa, li, wa elimu watu wengi ambao wana disabilities au watoto ambao hawasikii viziwi ambao hawaongei huaga wana special training ambao pia wanaweza kuwa na dreams ya kuwa mtu unajua sasa kuangalia kitanzania yani they just ni kama vile wanaweka tu pale unajua kwa hawana hope ya kuwa somebody kwa hiyo ndio ilinyuma sana na nataka ni pazia saudi sana ni niweze kuwasaidia kwa sababu hivyo vitu the equipment ambazo wanatumia ni expensive kwa ukienda kuomba sponsorship ya companies kwenda kuwasaidia inakuwa hard kwa sababu zaidi ya milioni kumi pale unatumia ni watoto wengi huwezi kumsaidia mtoto mmoja okay. kwa hiyo even vitu ambavyo nataka niende nikapaze saudi vitu vichache vya kumalizia kuna 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 vitu gani ambavyo vinakupa matumaini kwamba unaweza kuibuka mshindi <laughs> i'm beautiful <laughs> One thing najua kwamba ni mzuri ila na confidence na watu wengi yani unajua kwa Tanzania huaga wana wanaamka tu wanasema chochote wanachotaka kusema kwa sababu wameona some is incident unajua ila ukinyangilia kuanzia safari yangu ya kwanza utajua kabisa I'm very confident and I know chochote ambacho nakisema yani nina 
confident na yani na confident sana nimefanya research kwa hiyo na mini kwamba taji itarudi Tanzania yani if not top 3 i'm the crown holder au si one yes ulikwenda hospitali baada ya ya kile ambacho kilitokea kwenye finali ya Miss Tanzania kwenda kujua tatizo lilikuwa ni hapana kwa sababu i think kwamba ni it's a normal thing unajua some people think it's pressure but i know that kwamba niki niishe kupata hiyo incident actually Miss Lala ila sio ile incident ya my body nilipata pressure ambao watu wanadhani kwamba nilipata pressure Miss Tanzania ndio maana nimeondoka nili Nili apologize nili apologize na nika repeat my point unajua na bado nikashinda lakini ya Miss Tanzania ni sielewi ni nini kilitokea at all yani sielewi i just th- saw black blackness and i thought maybe so think kaendelea kukaa hapa unajua that thing lakini like, nime accept you know you are matokeo hivyo na no, maana nimepata opportunity nyingine ila Mungu alinipangia kwamba nime kwamba kuna kitu better than Miss Tanzania crown okay yeah wewe unasali kabla ya kufanya chochote of course au kusali sikio nilisali nilisali yale mashindano makubwa obviously nilisali sana okay yes lakini pia wewe ni ni kama fresh from school umetoka shule umeingia kwenye mashindano kuna vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vinakupa hofu kuna time ilikuwa inafika inakupa hofu unakuwa na pressure unakuwa come on bye ndo mimi naenda kuonekana kwenye hii ah hapana ah vitu ambavyo vimenipa pressure sana sio kuhusu sijui nimetoka shule kwa hiyo i'm still young all that mm. shule ni otoka mimi ni kama ni list day I'm, i'm done with university kwa sababu ni that advanced lakini kitu ambacho kimenipa pressure ni kwamba sipendi sikujua si how media is unajua ni jua kwamba i'm just gonna do my thing na naingia nitafanya vyovyote ninavyotaka unajua mm. na malengo yangu siangalie media and all that ila kitu ambacho nilikuwa naogopa sana ni kwamba nikiibuka mshindi naogopa ya maneno ya Instagram unajua Tanzania na easy udaku pages mm-hmm. those are the things that ambazo I'm not that kind of person unajua kuna kuna naogopa sana hizo vitu otherwise ni equal to focused with my aim that's it okay yeah na um, uh, ishi, kuna, kuna kitu ambacho umekiona baada ya wewe kutangazwa kwamba unakwenda Miss Africa kuna kitu ambacho umekiona kwenye comments au kwenye mitandao ungependa kukifafanua au kukieka sawa. Mwaka sikutaka si kusoma comments actually sijasoma. Mm-hmm. Ila nimeona watu wengi they actually support me. Ambao watu ambao sija sijafikiria kabisa. Mm-hmm. I mean I'm under Mbina Magese group unajua ni mtu mwanamtindo mkubwa sana wa kimataifa. Unajua sisi sidhani kama mtu anaweza kumdisrespect kuni mm-hmm. condescend au kunisema maneno vibaya kwa sababu anamheshimu yeye sana kwa sababu I'm under her. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo ndio namshukuru Mungu. Okay. Yes. Uh, nani role model wako? Mimi magese. I mean if you look at her kwamba ametoka kwanza ni msichana ambaye ametoka Tanzania. Mm-hmm. Na ukiangalia ma Miss Tanzania wengi kwa mfano mimi nimetoka kwenye familia ambayo ni very strict and religious. Kwa hiyo ukiwaambia mambo ya Miss Tanzania hawakuelewi. Kwa yani mtu anadhani tu nimeingia nimeshinda crown and that's it lakini nime fight so hard yani kwamba nimewa convince my parents so hard kwamba nitachukua mwaka mmoja nitaenda shule next year you know all that stuff kwa hiyo walikuwa nataka ni muangalie mtu ambaye kutoka Miss Tanzania yani kila sababu bangu nilikuwa namwambia nataka niingie Miss Tanzania nani kutoka Miss Tanzania ambaye amekuwa successful you know mm-hmm. and it's few people that you can mention ulimtajia nani <laughs> nilimtajia i mean there are quite few people mimi magese Um so then kama vile matata ametokea Miss Tanzania Miss Universe. Yes. Mm. Like same industry. Um Bira Modemba. Mm. Kuna Jacqueline Mengi. I mean the people who respect Nancy Sumari. Wewe bidi ugogo nini umpatie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no sio si Google. 
<laughs> Actually, the first one who came into my mind is Nancy Sumari. Uh-huh. Yani, I mean, she's so inspirational. Now, Hannah Zile, uh, I mean, what my parents don't want is bad scandals on you. And then you don't want to go to school. And you can ni bad on you in education. You can find a man by Jamie. You can find a man by beauty. Koyo, there are few people. I mean, the main ones ni Nancy Sumari and Milen Magese. Okay. Yeah. Na na kilichotokea kwenye finali za Miss Tanzania hakikuwapa hofu wazazi wako kama ah unaenda kwenye mashindano mengine <laughs> tena utakuwa na pressure. Uh, a little bit wali uh, especially my dad alikuwa worried kwamba uh, I don't know what I'm doing kwa sababu kila mtu anadhani kwamba sikujua swali langu. I knew it so well ndio maana nilichagua. I mean everyone was choosing a question na nikachagua beauty and environment kwa sababu nimetoka nao kuanzia kitongoji kwa hiyo naijua sana. Mm. Kwa hiyo nivo nivo pata this opportunity nikamwambia wazangu kwamba I can do it I mean all I need is just more preparation kwa sababu hii ni kitu kikubwa ni kama vile unaenda kuongea UN mm. that's how serious it is kwa hiyo I mean kwa mfano unashinda Miss Africa I have to be more serious right now na prepare and all that yani si prepare si kwenda kushindana tu na prepare to be a winner kwa sababu ki prepare to be a winner there's other th- packages ambazo zinakuja na wenda kaongea na rais nenda kafanya hivi na hivi and you have to be serious okay kwa this time yani nafanya a lot of preparation na fanya research kuhusu what i really want to change kuhusu climate change in Tanzania okay yeah mashindano yanafanyika lini finally taishina sita taishina sita november november yeah oh yeah. oh yeah like i think it's even next week i think yeah yeah yes kwa hiyo unaondoka lini Ah, uh, nice si naondoka kesho. Mm-hmm. Yeah, naondoka kesho. Okay. Yeah. Sawa, so, um, kuna nyimbo gani za Bongo Flava kwa kumalizia ambazo unazisikiza sana sasa hivi? Mm. <laughs> Maki unatangaza utalii na na huo pia ni <laughs> Um yeah. Okay, there is Vanessa Mdee and Jukes. Mhm. That nilikuwa nasikiza sana. Juu kwa juu? Yes. Mhm. Um, unataka nitaji ngapi? Hata tatu, nne. Hmm. Diamond. Mhm. What song? Basu skilizi. Uh, Banaba, Lover Boy. Mhm. Uh This one song of Diamond imeingia sasa hivi. Salome. Yes, Salome. That's my favorite actually. Mm-hmm. Sababu mimi ni mwae kwa ni nataka nifanye remix ya traditional song. Wewe ni mwae. Yes, nataka nifanye remix ya traditional song kienda Nigeria ili ni nionyeshe kwamba you know there's a modern song mm-hmm. and there's also a traditional song. Okay. Um those three save. Okay. Mm. Sawa so, Julita, mimi na Fry sana, imekuwa poa sana kuwa na wewe, labda kama kuna cha kumalizia ulicho nacho. Um nitapenda sana kama wananchi wote ni support. Um, wakati ni, I mean it's a short time ambayo nitakuwa Nigeria na it's a short time ambayo nimeinform kwamba naenda kushiriki lakini nitapenda sana support kama kutakuwa kuna kupiga kura naomba nipigie kura and thank you yeah. thank you so much for coming thank you